If you haven't had an opportunity to walk in a new school when school is happening and the kids are in there and the, and the teachers are teaching and the children are participating in the learning process, it is just a beautiful experience. It really is. And in a new facility, even more so. I think we've created facilities that some people would have said we, we couldn't create. Um, and so I think we've, we've made a, a statement, sometimes within our own district, about what can be. When you see the completion and you see the pride and you see the community members coming back who might not even have children and realizing that this is their community school. And I think that the bond shows how through the public's trust they invested in this, through the district's working with the community and working with the staff to create the bond oversight and to create the committees that prelimed everything getting started with the bond and all of those ideas being valued and put together and then when you open a school you see all of that work and all of that put forth and it's really exciting to know that when we do all work together what amazing things can happen. I remember going into a meeting and they kind of presented the last of the information they had to present and then said, um, okay, um, what do you guys think we should do from here? And that was when it dawned on me, or when I realized, I guess, that the district didn't have a predetermined plan. They were just trying to roll it out in front of a large group of you know, parents and community members, and there were faculty and campus administrators, and even some students that were in on that, that committee. I think there was 120 or more uh, people that were on that committee. And I thought they were just, you know, rolling out a plan to, you know, kind of lead us into something. They didn't have the answers. And uh, just, it, it, it just struck me that they were actually putting a group of people together and trying to get some, some real live input. Thought this was great that they were um, going through that process. As an architect, I was very interested in what they were doing about facilities. I was curious about what they were thinking planning wise. And uh, I, I just, um, I guess I just jumped in. Whether you're on the north side of the freeway, the south side of the freeway, we are a powerful community to be dealt with. And when we came together to make this decision about the bond for the future of our students, our community, and the quality of life, we came together as one. There's no, there was no socioeconomic divide. There wasn't the freeway divide. It was everyone coming together, and that, that gives me a great sense of pride. We formed a community group to look at and give input to the board on what should we should do about replacing schools, et cetera, before we went out for a bond issue. So through about three months of meeting with over 150 people, it seemed like weekly, uh, we came up with a solution with the engineers that we would replace 12 schools and upgrade other schools. Citizens of the community voted unanimously to uh, float a $597 million bond issue, which passed and it happened at the just right time. This bond program is interesting. I've, I've been I'm in my 10th year, I guess, you know, heading into 11th year. I've been assistant since 96. And, and what it really showed to me is just the, the ability for these groups to collectively come together and do great things for our community, great things for kids. I think one year, in probably a 24 month period of time, we opened five campuses. Just, you know, how do you accomplish all those things? The bottom line is you accomplish it with great people, with great community input and great community resources. You know, we've had two individuals and in Kurt Martin and David Slattery who have given um, 10 years of their time of commitment and volunteering to making sure that, that this all went well. Um, and I think just seeing the power of all that come together uh, is just something that, that we all have to feel very proud about over the work over the last 10 years. It was just the nimbleness that they had to be able to say, ah, conditions are changing, let's, you know, let's make some you know, statistical adjustments here and we could take advantage of it and uh, they were able to do it. And it Again, it was to their, to their gain to be able to do so. And credit Terry Bell and all of his staff. Um, you know, that, that was a, a lot of extra work on them, um, a lot of extra work on, on Karen with, with, you know, managing the, the, the timing of the, the bond proceeds and all that. We were always doing it right. <laughs> uh, the whole program, the whole, my whole job is 
uh, was fun. I enjoyed doing the whole thing. It's nice. Uh, it's just as nice to stand out in the mud and watch them pour concrete as it is on the, uh, the groundbreaking as it is on the day you walk in there and watch the kids go in. And what I love is when I go through the new buildings and the pride that comes from the kids and the staff about being in this building that their community designed that their community had feedback. So not only did we have the bond committee, but every time that a school was built, there was a community group that got to talk about what they wanted and what they envisioned in the faculty. So everything that came together to get one school built was such a collective and collaborative effort. That Duncan, when he came in and his, his administration, I think from top to bottom, wanted to do was make sure that they had community involvement uh, in every facet of the of the program and the sense that I have I wasn't as I say I wasn't involved before 2005 but the sense that I have was that that was new that the sense that I have was that that was something another legacy that will be left uh, from I suppose this this uh, administration but but that community involvement was terribly important it feels like it belongs and it feels like it's yours and it feels like it's it's part of the community. I think that's really, really important and something that sets us apart from other school districts in our bond program. Uh, we, we ended up with 13 extremely unique schools that all look as though they're of the same family. What's come out of this is a complete transformation, I think, in the way the district plans in the way the district looks at not just technology and the technology cycles, not just buses and the bus cycles, but the buildings. Minimizing the dollars you're spending on maintenance so you can maximize the dollars you spend on the curriculum and the education and the real business of the school district. Had we stuck to the original plan and not made any adjustments, we probably would have 12 elementary schools and uh, everything that we promised, but um, we were able to do a little better than that. And it's that collective greatness that we seek in our district. And everyone has a voice at the table. And that committee came together. They thought about the district. They researched. They took the time to do it absolutely right. And then they came up with a very successful plan. And they've seen it through. Making the decisions we made it, we really, I believe, and I think the community believes too, and, and, and that we really did make a difference. Um, you know, it's a $597 million bond program. Uh, we went across and you can drive our district now and you can see the real changes. And I think that that um, really, I think we, we, we went way above and beyond uh, where I thought we would end up in, in, transforming, in, in, in transforming the look of the community. God bless you and thank you for all the input that you have given to Spring Branch ISD that this district would not be the district that it is if it wasn't for you, the patrons of this community. There's no place like Spring Branch. You are home, you're a family, and everybody pulls together. We have our differences, yes, but in the long run, what we do in Spring Branch is for the best interests of all, all children in Spring Branch, not just a few.